Ubiest of the Tubiest, the best YouTube subscribers on the planet. <laughs> That's you, and I'm 50 plus now. There's a uh, you see my curtain moving. I got my windows down, and I really don't make videos with my windows down. So uh, I'm hoping it, it doesn't affect the sound and, uh, and you guys can hear me. So uh, I wanted to uh, first say I, I'm still here in Tulsa. Uh, I'm, I'm actually taking a uh, training class, which, by the way, lasts, holy cow, until Monday. <laughs> it's a long 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 class and uh, there's a a lot of a lot of information you know I'm not, uh, basically what I'm what I'm what I'm doing is taking the classes to uh, all right. he's struggling in the back and, and it's like shit five spots in in a row and uh he, he ain't gonna get it in this time you know it's weird but I, I've sat here and watched uh, I think he's like a third guy I'm at the Melton Yard he's a Melton Drivers I, I don't understand why this guy's struggling so hard to back into that spot there's there's nothing he's missed it he's he's overcorrected and uh wow it is it's 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 not hard man backing isn't hard but i, I think what ends up happening especially with us is flatbed um we don't uh put a lot of emphasis with our with, with a student I guess on backing because you know you know we don't do uh, we're, we don't do near the backing that uh, the putting those boxes will do doesn't mean that you don't back as a flatbedder because you do um, the other thing about it is our, our backs are a lot more difficult because we have spread axles and the trailer is going to react totally different um, depending on how it's loaded. And they just don't, they don't back up very well, you know. Like you try to back to a parking spot, you know. But, you know, you get used to it and, and you get her done. Anyways, um, the class that I'm taking is for a trainer to be, so that I can, uh, you know, take some of you guys on as students. So, if you're here in, in Tulsa right now, you wanted the UBS, and you don't smoke, and and, and not oh I, I I won't smoke while I'm on your truck. Nope, that don't work. That don't work because I, I I can smell it on you while we talking, and and you you can't. You can't, uh, you can't hide it, you know. My scientists tell me that because they just slam shut. Because I'm, I'm highly allergic to it. Hell, every every human being is allergic to cigarette smoke. That's why you get canceled, God damn it. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, they don't bash people that smoke. You smoke, you smoke. That, 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 that's not my business. The only time it's my business is when you get in my truck and you're a smoker and you can't do that. So uh, I'm looking for a student that don't smoke. And uh, if you're here, man, and, and you're going to be done, uh, uh, I guess Friday, I guess that's when you guys are done. I don't know when the, when the class ends, but if you're done by Monday when I'm done, uh, they'll assign us students and then maybe you can ride with me. I don't know. Maybe it worked, maybe it won't. I don't know. We'll figure it out, though, won't we? <laughs> okay, so anyways, uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm a little bit distracted because I was watching this guy 
back in there. When you ride with me, we back, okay? I'm going to teach you how to back. You're going, if you're going to ride with me, get ready. That's going to happen, okay? You're going to... It, we don't generally uh, do, do a lot of backing where uh, situations is not good, like uh, at truck stops and back in between two trucks with, uh, and... You know things like that. If we can avoid it, we're gonna avoid that. I I I, I don't do. I, I bet the entire time I've been, ever drove since since I got out of truck driving school, I bet I back between two trucks maybe at a truck stop. Okay, maybe uh, maybe two times. Maybe I don't do that. You know I I, I plan. I trip plan. So I don't have to put myself at that type of risk. You know, can I do it? Yeah, I can do it. But why? To prove what to who? You know, the best thing to do is is uh, is do what is safe. And I'm not talking about. I mean, in this industry, you hey, be safe, 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 safe. And then and then you're out on the road watching these guys. You know, drive sixty mile an hour in the snow and and you know, cutting people off and, and, and driving two feet behind the car in front of them, almost pushing them up the road, trying to get them out the road. Man, it's, it's, it's more more uh, a common sense type of situations, okay? Common sense tells me that if you continue to roll the dice, eventually you're going to crap out, okay? So I just don't roll the goddamn dice. I go park. You know, I, I plan so that I park in a, in a, in a time of the day where I know the truck stop that I'm going to park is going to have a shitload of spots, and I can damn near go in 65 mile an hour, pop the brake, and hook slide into a spot. That's what I'm looking for. But you still have to learn how to back because you you go to customers and and, and you have to be able to do that. Okay. Plus, I do back it. At, at, at truck stops I just try to, to pick a spot where there's you know two lanes not a truck an empty spot then a truck a, tr a truck empty spot empty spot truck you know and then I because I, 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 I'm going to get in the I'm going to turn right into the lane but I don't have to worry you know that I'm getting close to somebody's truck or you know even possibly hitting somebody's truck so again I'm, I'm not scared to back but um, um, just be smart about it. You ain't got nothing to prove. You want to prove something? Prove 10 years from now when you got, you know, a million plus miles on that you ain't hit somebody's truck. And then they have to come to Tulsa and then send their truck to the body shop because you backed into it because you, you got too close parking. You see what I'm saying? So, okay, so now, uh, J. Dot, he says, I have orientation from Melton Truck Lines in April. Uh, I'm retired from the Army and counting uh, and continuing to drive. And any advice for a rookie flatbed at Melton? Yeah, I got I got some advice for you. You got every tool you need to be successful in uh, in any job, especially truck driving, because you retired, or retiring from the army. It, the United States military has given you every tool you need to be successful in anything you do. That is for sure. Because they taught you how to survive. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> you're going to be damn good when you get out of here, bro. You, no matter what you do, you're going to be good. Ain't got that to worry about because you got the skills to make things happen. And uh, uh, other than that, For all of you guys that, that that you know didn't spend twenty plus years in the military and and learn structure and learning, when I say that about the military, because guess what, man, 
This job is about time and time management. Okay, that's all we do all day. We go pick stuff up on time and then we go deliver it on time. Okay, uh, you need to look presentable, if you, especially if you're working for Melton or you know any company, really, man. Even if you didn't work for a company, you work for yourself. You should have enough pride in yourself to keep yourself looking good when you get out to go talk to the customers, right? So, like, uh, yeah. like that. You know, see, a nice clean shirt it represent if the shirt don't have Melton on it or something like that, just, you know, a little cap or something. But, you know, let people know where you're coming from and then be proud of it. It makes you look good. You know what I'm saying? OK, but the military taught you that. And crispy, crispy seams and stuff. They taught you all that. OK, but if you if you didn't go to the military. And, uh, and you want to know what you need to do to be ready to come and roll with any uh, company. Um, the best advice I can tell you, bro, is, is be ready to work. Okay? You know, uh, know that when you, what you're doing is, uh, is, um, is, is representative of, of yourself, your family, your parents who taught you how to be the person that you are and, and, uh, and, and representing the company. And then just do the job. It's not hard, man. It's not hard. A lot of people want to say this truck driving you know, or even flatbed is just a hard, hard job. Man, let me tell you something. The flatbed is not hard. It is not what I thought it was. Everybody want to say it's hard because they, I don't know, maybe they're trying to keep you out. I don't know, but I'm telling you, dude, it is not hard. It is not. You just got to not be lazy. <clears throat> Look. Look. Look at that tarp in the front. That's the front of that trailer. I mean, the, the tarps are on pretty good, but look at look how he. he some of y'all know what I'm looking at. If you don't know what I'm looking at, that should be the back of the trailer, not the front of the trailer. The way he got his flaps, ain't that something? Uh, you know, uh, it, it, we just gotta we just got to teach people the right way the, the wind gets underneath that and it's folded right backwards because uh, uh, the flap is down and then the sides is covering the flap that's the way you do it in the back in the front the sides come in and the flap goes over it so that the air goes around the deal but anyways anyways uh J Dot, you're gonna be just fine, brother. And I'm glad you're coming. And, and keep up with me, okay? Maybe by the time you get, uh, maybe by the time you get to this, you know, to to to, to the company, and and you're ready to get on a train of truck, that I might be down here ready to pick up a student. Who knows? You know, just uh, you know, put me down as your reference. Just go ahead and uh, use that link, guys. Use that link down below, and that way. Uh, uh, I don't know because I get a I get a, a notification uh, through this, this uh, program called. See, this guy know how to do it. I watch this guy just back right in. He just got right in that hole. He finna get out the truck in just a minute. But you learn that over a period of time, okay? So you're not gonna hit. You ain't gonna hit it right every time. You know, uh, when you first get started, for sure. You know, but uh, you'll get there. So don't let don't let that. Don't let back and distract any of you guys. But anyways, uh, uh, go ahead and, 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 you know, like I said, use the link down below. I'm going to get a message through WorkHound to let me know who you are, and then I'll, I'll write it all down, okay? And then uh, uh, when it's time, I keep up with you. You keep up with me. So well, I'll let you guys know, just like I always did. Hey, you know, my student has only got X amount of time left, and then you guys will know, you know, when, I, when I'm... Will be 
through Tulsa looking for a student. <clears throat> I'll still be driving regional. I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna not go home on the weekend. So if you live in Houston, man, you high priority. And you don't smoke. You high priority on my list. Cause that means we both home on the weekends. Okay. Anyways, I rambled enough. I just wanted to give you a little information. Until I see you again, deliver undistracted. Hey, put a message down there if you guys want me to uh, uh, ask you something. Okay, uh, answer a question for you. J. Dot, hey man, congratulations. I, I'll see you when you get here. Here's your boop. <laughs>